Hello everybody, Crips here and once again, thanks for joining me. Hang on a second, I've turned into a cartoon. Ah oh, well, I might as well do the chicken dance then. I hope you enjoyed my little intro. I told you I was going to change it up a bit, but there you go. So that was me just having a bit of fun with uh, Crazy Talk Animator. Uh, it's just a little software that I'm using at the moment, uh, making cartoons for my kids. Isn't that nice? Anyway, what are we doing today? Well, today I'm going to show you how you can pimp up your Corral Video Studio. Now, the difference between 4 and 5 is that the rendering on or the acceleration on 5 is about 10 times faster. Now, if you want, one day I can actually put the 4 and 5 uh, side by side and just show you how much faster it actually is. I've done that before out of curiosity when I first got 5, and it truly was amazingly fast. But uh, So I still get a few people saying that, oh, it, rendering is slow and whatnot. So I'm going to show you what I do, uh, my settings, as far as using my Corel Video 5 at optimal pace or optimal settings. So let's just get going. Let's go into settings. Now, for me, I have this ticked. Enable 60 frame rate to 50 editing. Uh, I use GoPro a lot, uh, especially on the 60 frame rate. So that is what I do. And by default, it'll be in your white screen. Uh, if you do enable it in the 60 and you are working with a 4 to 3 ratio, it will not convert. It will stay there. Uh, but anyway, that's what I do. You can leave it here. Most cases for you guys, I would just leave it at this setting. But hey... You know, you can do what uh, what you think is best for what you're doing. But go into Preferences. Uh, go into uh, Edit. Now, for me, uh, I run a, an Arteon 7 series. It's not bad. It's only one gig. Uh, but this is my home computer, and it's, uh, I use it for games mainly. So it's more of a graphics card for video games than editing. So I still set it on best, so I get good quality, and I go straight into performance. Now, make sure you enable Smart Proxy. That's very, very important, especially when you're working with HD files, and they're quite large. So this is very important for you to do. Next thing, uh, uncheck Auto Generate Proxy Template. And I want you to uncheck it, go into Options, and I want to change it from Frame Type to Frame Base. Now, Frame Base means progressive, which means the entire picture will be displayed in a single pass. Lower and upper fields, or as we, as most people know, it's bottom and uh, top fields, is more or less interlaced. Like TV, it's, uh, you can't pick it up by the human eye, but it's one row after another. But go with the frame based, and it works really well. Uh, and that's what I want to do. Now, next thing you want to do is go into editing process. Make sure the enable hardware decoder acceleration is checked and file creation. Enable hardware decoder acceleration. This basically enables you to render out your films very, very fast. It'll push your CPU, but it'll render it out much faster than if uh, you have it unchecked. If it's grayed out, that basically means your video card does not support it. Like, like I said, mine is more of a games card. The one I use for work is uh, 2 gig, so it supports it. And then also in your performance optimization, enable hardware acceleration. And that's basically all I do to get the full features out of it. This will pimp up your, your crowd video. Now, while I'm at it, I'm going to show you a couple of things you want to download as well. You don't need to download these, but they're quite useful. Now, one of them is called G-Spot. No, it's not what you're thinking. It's got nothing to do with about your girlfriend. Uh, this was actually, it's an open source. And it was actually produced in 2007. Now, what it does, it tells you all the codecs that you have installed on your computer. And are there any problems with these codecs? So let's have a look at my uh, video codecs. So here are all my video codecs that I have installed on my system. So you can see they're all here. So every codec, you know, I've got 256 or 236. Now, um, a lot of people said to me, my Hero Go Pro won't play in Corel Video. Well, that's because of the AVI format. Now, many people don't realize AVI is just a wrapper. Uh, best way I can describe it, it's, 
It's the tin foil around your packet of chewing gum. You don't know what flavor it is inside. It's just the wrapping outside. So AVI could represent a lot of different types of video codecs. How do I do this? Well, very simple. Uh, all I need to do is drag a video in here and it instantly tells me everything I need to know about my video. So just drop and drag. All right, so here we go. So I use the Canon to capture this footage and here it says here it's an AVC1 codec. All right, it's undetermined. Now that means it doesn't know what type of codec it is because uh, I've got a, a relatively new camera and it doesn't understand the codec. So I, I may have problems using this one uh, when I'm bringing into Corel Video or any other software. So then I do this, I go into Media Info, okay, and I'll, sh I'll give you the download links for these, and these are pretty cool. I'll grab the same video again, drop and drag, that's all you need to do, drop and drag, and here it is, right? And it'll tell you uh, if you're having issues to play, especially with some of the GoPros, uh, just click here, go to the website for the player. Now if I launch this, you can't see it, it just popped on my other screen, I'll bring it across. It'll tell me that it works well with uh, Apple QuickTime. So now I know that I can download Apple QuickTime and play that video in Apple QuickTime. Only I do this if I can't play it uh, with the current uh, video players that I have on my computer. But I already have QuickTime, so that's not a problem. And from here I can then uh, convert it, say, into something that Corel will recognize. But lucky enough for me, because I have QuickTime the Codex, Corel recognizes this video instantly, so I don't have any problems with it. So there you go, my friends. Uh, Media Info and G-Spots. I'll put the link in the description below. And that is how you pimp your Corel. And as always, thanks for watching.